the execution of a sheikh Nimr and Nimr, a shaheed, a sheikh Nimr, rahmatullahi alayhi. The Saudi government executed 47 members, 47 individuals recently, including Sheikh Nimr and Nimr and three other brothers from the city of Al Qatif, and many other people from all around Saudi Arabia. Why Sheikh Nimr stands out? among all those people that were executed and why there were waves of condemnation for his execution Saudi Arabia claims that well we executed all those people Shia and Sunnis and why you guys are making an issue out of executing a sheikh and Nimr is it because he's Shia and you're Shia and you're defending your fellow Shia? No. No. We do not condemn Saudi Arabia because it executed a Shia Sheikh. We condemn Saudi Arabia because it executed an innocent person, a free man, a man who never committed any crime. The rest of the group, the Wahhabi group, the Salafi members who were killed and executed were all terrorists. They were engaged in terrorist activities. But Sheikh Nimr was not. He was not a terrorist. The reason we condemn the Saudi government is because all he did, all this man did, he peacefully criticized his government. And the result was to be executed. Imagine, my dear brothers and sisters, of all those Republican members or the members of the Republican Party in criticizing President Obama, imagine if they were living in Saudi Arabia. What would happen to them? Definitely they will be executed for criticizing their president. This is how... This government in Saudi Arabia it treats its critics. If you dare to criticize the government in Saudi Arabia, your head will be chopped off. That's why we condemn Saudi Arabia. That, that's why we believe this is a barbaric regime that knows no tolerance. They say that you cannot criticize your ruler it is haram according to the wahhabi school of th thought it is haram to criticize your ruler even if he's an oppressor even if he is someone committing injustice fine let's for a moment accept this sick logic let's accept it that you cannot criticize you ruler and you will be punished if you do so. So how come Saudi Arabia supports those who not only criticize the ruler in Syria, but they also revolt against him? How come they are supporting them, funding them, financing their terrorism? How come? Why those two double standards? Criticizing a ruler in Saudi Arabia is haram, while revolt, revolting against another ruler in Syria is something that Saudi Arabia encourages why this double standard why this hypocrisy saudi arabia today is proving to be when i say saudi arabia i don't mean the people of saudi arabia i mean the government the government of saudi arabia the royal family has been the major sponsor of terrorism in the world they have been supporting terrorists everywhere in Iraq, in Lebanon, in Syria, in Pakistan, in Yemen. Indeed, in Yemen, Saudi government is engaged directly in terrorism by terrorizing millions of Yemeni people. Ten 
million kids in Yemen have been affected by the war against their country that was launched by Saudi Arabia almost a year ago. 10 million kids have been affected by the war. So, I believe that, yes, this regime deserves condemnation, not only by local communities here and there, but by all governments, and specifically by the government of the United States. I was a little bit disappointed at the way that the U.S. government reacted. Instead of, rea instead of expressing its utter condemnation toward the execution of an innocent person, a freedom fighter, all they did, they criticized. They, 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 uh, I'm sorry, they only expressed their concern about stability in the region after the execution of this man. This is double standard. If the government of Iran execute a cat, a cat, the United States would go wild. They would make a big deal of it. But in Saudi Arabia, a respected, prominent religious leader is being executed for no reason other than peacefully criticizing his own regime, his tyrannical regime. And all the U.S. did is express, they expressed their concern. Unfortunately.